In 2017, U.S. President Donald Trump withdrew from the Paris Climate Agreement. Immediately, many of America's business leaders denounced Trump's decision and pledged to independently uphold their climate commitments. Today, it is clear that public policies will have a major effect on the nation's response to its social and environmental problems. In his 2005 book, The Market for Virtue, UC Berkeley professor David Vogel pointed to a number of companies that had adopted new standards all on their own. Today, Nike enforces stricter labor requirements at its factories. Home Depot and Lowe's have committed to preserving forests. Over the past 20 years, there's been a huge amount of interest in corporate social responsibility. Of the Fortune 500 companies, 80% now issue sustainability reports. But there's a problem. Data shows that state-level policies still have the biggest effect on corporate sustainability outcomes. So corporate political actions like lobbying and campaign funding still have a major impact, but they're often ignored because of the focus on CSR. To make matters worse, CSR can be hijacked through corporate hypocrisy like greenwashing. Some companies use sustainability initiatives to disguise political activities happening behind the scenes that actually block meaningful change. In reality, corporate social responsibility is just one component of sustainability. We need to start focusing on corporate political responsibility. CPR should be monitored and evaluated just as carefully as CSR. There are a few important metrics to track here, and it all starts with transparency. Companies need to be transparent about their lobbying and campaign funding activities. This goes beyond simply reporting aggregate expenditure. Instead, they're going to need to report on the actual objectives of their lobbying. Transparency will reveal hypocrisy and allow us to track how well companies are really doing. So how should managers approach this? Well, first, they need to fully disclose all of their political activities and objectives. It will pay off to take a leading position in transparency. Next, they need to align all of the company's political activities with their public statements. Anything less will be seen as disingenuous. Finally, they need to be sure to support public policies that advance sustainability but do not put them at a competitive disadvantage. Striking that balance means that the company will be able to operate sustainably while still meeting fiduciary obligations. It's really clear that companies have a big role to play in solving social and environmental problems, but they must learn to work intelligently and transparently within the political sphere. To learn more, please read the latest issue of California Management Review, Volume 60, Issue 4.